வணக்கம் மே ஹைதர் அலி சையத் ஆசிர்வாதம் சார் யுனைடெட் அண்ட் தமிழ் சேவா Uh, what 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 was he talking uh, about your your you know your concept of the third son of adam and uh, uh, you know the the quranic passages which we were discussing i mean obviously he disagrees with you so i just wanted to see you guys talking to each other uh, so that i can no no he is a, uh, he is actually he is there from past 5 uh, years with me and uh, he is actually a uh, 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 means uh, uh he understands everything but he will not digest uh, certain thing which uh, the, the people will not digest because since we very well know that uh, for the the cradle of because we are all coming from a common ancestry if there were many adam and eve then we could have said that uh, from this batch or that batch but this we are all coming from a common ancestry so the starting okay. point can only be one only so either we start right. yeah either we start with uh, shiva either either tamil either we start with tamil only can you bring any other uh, nation or language because black black is there and language because quran chapter 30 verse 22 if you read that verse chapter 30 verse yes. 22 language and color is the key for the people of knowledge so what was the color of adam what was the language of adam if the, if they just decode this to base thing once you get the language and the color of adam then the whole uh, structure will gets clarified okay, you can read chapter 30 verse 22 yeah 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 i know and among his signs is this that yeah. he created you uh, of very col- varying colors and uh languages yeah This so if i ask uh, yeah if for the people of knowledgeable so when people are doing research if you have a right concept of color and uh, language of a uh, starting point of adam and then in tamil culture you very well know that kal thondri man thondri that is a verse which says that before the creation of earth and stone tamil was already there so that's why uh, tamil is a god's language and that's why there is always a fight between sanskrit and uh, tamil which is the first language you are aware of that no uh, i wasn't aware of that i wasn't aware yeah, of that so but my grandfather yeah was a scholar of tamil <laughs> uh, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> he yeah. should have told me this <laughs> yeah that's yeah okay that's a yeah. so so because uh, see and uh, if you read uh, quran chapter uh, 7.172 uh, allah has yeah. taken testimony from each and every one of us yes so that's the allah reason to be rabbikum yeah that's that's why we have this uh, kul devam ancestral get together and sacrifice of the animal okay that's that's the same culture which you have put on your muqam e ibrahim Mukaim Ibrahim is what actually it's a it's a family get together for family of Ibrahim and sacrifice of the animal at Mina Ah right right So that's a Tamil culture yeah, yeah it's a Tamil culture which uh, ancient Tamil culture which uh, the starting point of Islam is a uh, Tamil Nadu so in in India also you very well know that uh, people go to their respective uh, Kuladevam and social get together and they do sacrifice of animal Mm. Oh, I see. So there's a oh, like a hutch like thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, hutch. Oh, 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 and the oh, same oh, thing. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, okay. Mr. So Mr. Hagarani was just explaining you know, a few things regarding Hello, Coco. Uh, yeah. Adam. Yeah. Uh, in the Quran. Mm. Yeah. How are you today, Coco? Alhamdulillah. I'm good. Alhamdulillah. Not going bad, I'm okay. Oh yeah, your your voice seems a bit. Um... Yes, I have to fight. Yeah. Oh my God. In in the room. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, that's that's too bad. It's a bunch of stupid. I mean, if you feel like uh if you feel like talking about the Rajal Nasar thing, then it's okay, but if your yeah. voice is pain, hurting you, I we can wait. Uh, yeah, 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 it's just the mood is uh, down. Oh that's no. All. So um, Yeah. I mean, it's a real pity that, you know, Quranic study, we should be something so elevating you know it should make you happy yeah but but some devils some human devils yeah yeah, 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 yeah. you know when they get inside yeah. and cause you know, this bad thing and it turns into and um, that um, animosity and then uh, mm. aggression and uh, yeah 
and they start to and when you when you when your reaction is the attack, they come and say, Where's the mercy? Where is the such and such? <laughs> what about Tom and Atta da Alecu, Fata do Alec, you missed him at the Alec? Chapter two, verse one yeah, four. Exactly. You know, what am I supposed to do? Like uh, like uh, take the offense and say and say, Come on, give me more. It's not my time. It's not no, my time. No, you have to say salam alaikum. Yeah, when the when the. No, this is this is for a uh, this is for jahilun, not for uh, the attackers, because oh, uh, well, well, yeah, jahilun is is something, and the attack of the man is a different thing. Yeah, I, I, do you yeah. think that the fighting of the fighting ayat applies to the beats? Fighting the. I mean, the I ayah on, on Kisar, the, do you think they apply to debates? No, actually, the, the, what happened was uh, from a crown only believers as well. It okay. wasn't from Sunnah or anything. Okay. People. Yeah, yeah Haider, uh, you see, uh, Koko and I believe only the Quran is the source of Islam. Uh, and, uh, as I told you yesterday, so, you know, when yeah. we take information, we don't take it from other sources. If, uh, yeah, yeah, actually, the Faruk, uh, the Quran alone is not the criteria. Chapter 3, verse 3, Quran and previous scriptures and Torah and Gospel. So you have to go previously, not uh, just Quran. You can read Quran chapter 3.3. 3. And going by Quran and Hadith, it's a wrong concept. Okay, well, I mean, you know, the, you're not, I don't think you're reading 3.3 3 properly, bro. I mean... See, three three says, "Nazala alaika al kitaba." Where we we sent to you the book in truth, "Musabdi kalima bayna yadaihi," confirming that which is between his two hands. "Wa anzalat wa anzalat Taurat wa al Injil," and we descended at Taurat wa al Injil. But what is the Furqan? Min kablu udal linnas wa anzal al Furqan. That's the next ayah. You see, so the the Quran is the criteria. Yeah, Quran is a criteria. I agree. Quran is a Furqan. Oh. It connects the previous scriptures and uh, whatever the... Uh, because uh, because Islam or uh, Islam was started from the beginning. Quran, Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger who came and corrected the concept of whatever was given, uh, what, whatever the... Because chapter 42, verse 13, like you have read uh, that day, chapter 42, verse 13. We all have to follow the same part which uh, God has given to, which, yes. uh, which Noah has followed. Yes, indeed, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, yeah. Th this is the thing, you know. So we we must be very careful with the information we receive. I mean, I told you yesterday, yeah. So I, I you know, I didn't want you to be misled. Uh, I, I'm just very interested in in your in your understanding, which is, as I said, very very interesting how you you linked the religious traditions. But I I personally I can't I can't agree with something which comes outside the Quran. It's a uh, you know, we, I mean, Coco, Coco will tell you, I mean, we, we work very hard in trying to understand how the Quran teaches us things. You know, we come, we come across these concepts very, very, uh, uh, with great difficulty, you know. So, for us to just take another source, that's, uh, yeah. yeah. Actually, when uh, Prophet Muhammad was there, it was the uh, Tamil Chera king who responded to Prophet Muhammad. And that time... Uh, there, uh, no pro, no holy book, came, no Quran came to the land, Tamil Nadu. But uh, when he saw the splitting of the moon, uh, he left his palace and he went to Prophet Muhammad and he died in uh, Mecca itself uh, and he joined Prophet Muhammad army to fight against the Persians. And uh, the first mosque in India is built during the lifetime of Prophet Muhammad in 6, 629 AD. There is a Cheraman Masjid in Kerala. You heard of that? No, 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 I haven't. I haven't. So, I haven't. during the lifetime during the lifetime of Prophet Muhammad, uh, the mosque was already constructed. Chapter, uh, you can uh, just Google it out in uh, First Mosque in India. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, so... I, mean, I thought there was some kind of invasion, you know? No, 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 no. There was no invasion. The invasion came from North India, not from South India. So, when... Uh, okay. uh, so because Quran is basically a reminder, reminding about the Tamil people. So, when uh, the splitting of the moon, uh, if you read uh, the splitting of the moon has split, uh, split asunder, that time uh, uh, the people who witnessed the event uh, were among them were the 
uh, uh, were the were the Tamil people also, the Tamil Chera king, and Chera king uh, left his uh, from Kerala. He traveled all the way to Arabia, and he met Prophet Muhammad, joined Prophet Muhammad, uh, and fought against the last fight, uh, which uh, chapter nine is talking about, and. Uh, so, so the and the first mosque was in India is built in uh, Kerala, six six twenty nine. And Prophet Muhammad died in six thirty two. Okay. Well, so, I mean, uh, you know, it's like I, I, you know, I don't believe in the splitting of the moon incident. No, Quran is talking about, na. Quran is talking about. Well, I mean, the ayah uh, chapter fifty four verse one is. It doesn't say Prophet Muhammad split the moon. It says after about this sahat. Yeah, Prophet Muhammad never split the see uh, see see no prophet has that uh, uh, with the help of God only because uh, that was a sign because uh, since Prophet Muhammad is a universal messenger and uh, the splitting of moon because Prophet Muhammad is prophesied in all the previous book. So whoever have the book, uh, it was a signal for those people that the last prophet has come. Yeah. Yeah. So see, when the Quran says people of the book, it doesn't refers to just Jews and Christian. It refers to all the books starting from uh, Tamil, and that's why Tamil Chera King responded to Prophet Muhammad. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. And yeah, anyway, yeah. You, so you were saying about uh, uh, the language and uh, thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chapter thirty, verse twenty-two. Yeah, the language and color. So when you do your research, because Quran itself is the because we have to because because Quran gives us a sign, and it tells us okay. to go into different different uh, civilization. How many civilizations have we destroyed? Don't you see that? So when you go into archaeological yes. research, when you go into a linguistic uh, studies, so then only you will be having a better understanding of Quran. Right. If you just uh, just read the Quran and say I I want everything from the Quran. You will not not get anything. This is a new concept which has come into into uh, new people that we want everything from the Quran. So, but, but see, if you yeah. if you asked uh, everything from the Quran, then uh, it doesn't talk about Set, it doesn't talk about Cain, but it says it gives a sign that uh, chapter five verse twenty seven, two sons of Adam. Now, if I, I ask yeah, who I now who are who are these two sons of Adam? So you you will say uh, the name is not there in the Quran. I will not believe. No, no, uh, that's it's not the same thing, bro. You see, the thing is, it's like Allah tells us certain things, right? He do, as you say, He doesn't tell us the name. Yeah, Habil and Qabil, He doesn't tell us. Yeah. Now here's some what we need to ask: Are the names important for us to get the lesson behind Habil and Qabil? I don't think they are important. If they were, nobody would have stopped Allah from. Putting the names there, you know. See, actually, uh, because in those days, in the olden days, people were not like uh, today's. They had no di uh, means uh, diversion like how today we have uh, music industries, film industries, and all those uh, uh, priestly class uh, organization. That time, the people were following the tradition. And uh, and in uh, each tradition, people were aware of what is happening. They knew about the ancestral story, what was happening around them. They knew okay. the knew their society, okay. spiritual world and uh, material world. They knew everything, because uh, uh, like in villages also, if you see, they were self-sufficient. They did they did not need any doctors. They did not need anything. They had all the thing. So they were aware of the information, and then uh, then later on in last uh, two thousand years only, uh, this. Uh, uh, corruption started and the information was taken away and there's lots of uh, uh, wrong information was uh, given to the people and that's what uh, if you read Quran chapter uh, 18 about Zulkanen Allah is telling previously I have not given this information to other people so we, he gave those information so th so this is how uh, Quran is uh, is telling about the whatever the incidents happened during the time of uh, Adam before Adam before deluge after deluge and uh, all this uh, uh, step by step incident is uh, is talking about so so quran doesn't uh, if quran tries to give all the information in one book so so the right now there are 6000 verses in the quran and uh, hardly any muslim or uh, people read those book so what what will happen if quran is uh, quran gives in all detail full detail it will become in volumes and volumes and volumes so it, it's very difficult for people to read it. Mm. Uh, yeah, but I don't think those details are necessary to understand the lesson behind it. You know, the Quran says in chapter 12, verse 111, 
لقد كان في قصصهم عبرة لأولي الألباب Verily in their stories are higher examples Ibrah is higher example you know? It's not the same as Matwal It's a higher example لأولي الألباب are for people of the depth People of the core yeah. So if we, what we don't want to do is to add so much details That we miss the point For example, you know like in chapter 80 uh, Allah says Abasa wa tawalla He frowned and turned away uh, Anja'ahul a'ma uh, Because a blind man came to him So the Sunnis, uh, Sunni Muslims are telling us Oh okay, well this is Abdullah ibn Maktoum You know, and this guy He did this with the Prophet He did that with the Prophet and so on Is that the point of the lesson? I don't think so I think the point of the lesson is We must never discount people Just because they are disabled yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. We, we, they are, all of us have potential. Yeah, Allah gives the answer in that verse only, na, that uh, you, your message is just to de- uh, deliver the message. It's I who give hidayah. Yeah, 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 exactly. So yes. the, the purpose, if you read Quran chapter 3 verse 144, what is the purpose of Prophet Muhammad? His message is just a messenger. And yes. he, yeah, he, and... Uh, Illa Rasul, fantastic. The, yeah, chapter 3, verse 144. It says, if even if Prophet Muhammad dies, it doesn't make any difference to Allah. That's what, the, it's a hard yes. word. It's a hard word yes, there. Yes, yes. So, so basically, Prophet Muhammad is a messenger. And if you if you ask what is the role of a messenger, his his, his work is to take the goods and uh, deliver it to the concerned person. So, so the people, when the Quran says, people of the book and children of Israel, these are the people whom God, uh, whom God wanted uh, Prophet Muhammad to deliver the goods. And if you read Quran chapter 36, the first ruku, Allah clearly stops Prophet Muhammad to, from wasting time on those people whose forefathers were not one. You can read that verse, Yasin. Uh, yeah, the early part of Yasin, I remember that verse. I can't, I can't recite it, but yeah. I, I know which one you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. So Allah clearly says, whether you want them or do not want them, they will not believe. Hmm. So that's the reason why Prophet Muhammad uh, sent letter of invitation to Persian Empire. Okay. And Persian Empire rejected uh, Prophet Muhammad invitation. Hmm. Yeah. And okay, the, I understand. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you were going back to this uh, color and language thing, bro. I think we we got a bit distracted from there. I'm interested in what you have to say about that. Yeah, the see, the color and language. If you do research on those, uh, because you, everything is not mentioned in Quran. Regarding color, chapter 15, verse 26 clearly says that Hama uh, Mansoon. So that black uh, color is uh, there. Uh, but uh, most of the Muslim, uh, they, don't under, they, they don't want to accept that uh, Adam is black. So, the, mm. but regarding language, language, if you do some linguistic scholar, even if you Google it, or what is the first language, Tamil will come first. Tamil and Sanskrit will come uh, side by side, first and second. So, according to my understanding, the first language is Tamil. And when uh, Cain committed the first murder, he was uh, cursed and banished and his language changed to Sanskrit because he was not given any information. Then third son got all the information on all subjects and this is how the first department of work uh, came into existence. And then later on, like I have told you uh, in the last uh, discussion that uh, 4913, department of work, the uh, tribe colony spread across the globe and we read till 6.6 that uh, the generation before the deluge was far more advanced than the current generation so when you now we are, now if you cross that um, uh, thing uh, chapter 11 verse 48 it uh, says that uh, noah boat uh, landed in uh, and, and allah is telling noah to come down from the boat with peace and blessing and uh, it's talking about his offspring his offspring okay. and then it's talking about uh, certain people who are in the boat, they will enjoy for a time and then a painful torment. Mm. Remember what that was? Yes, yes I do. <coughs> it's also in Surah Mu'minun. Yeah. Uh, yeah so, so this, uh, if you, if you uh, analyze that, but, but that apart from, because the, in Bible, they have removed, uh, they, they speak that uh, the flood was global and everyone died except the people on the boat. And they want to squeeze everyone as Ham, Sham and Japheth. Okay. And, and by doing this, they destroy the history of uh, Cain and uh, uh, Tamil people, Adam's children. Okay. So, but Quran is telling that apart from uh, Noah's three sons, I mean uh, offspring, there will be other people in the boat whom God will give enjoyment. So once again, the Tamil colony, 
the Pandian colony uh, built great civilization from Mesopotamian region. Uh, Mari, Aram, Elam, these are all Tamil word and these are all in M Middle East. Aram civilization, yeah. Sumerian civilization, Baluchistan civilization, Indus Valley civilization. They made a great civilization, Sumerian, Akkadian, all these are uh, Tamil civilization. So, so then, then Quran is talking about painful torment. Now the painful torment refers to because uh, like uh, like uh, painful torment like from past 2000 years you you must be aware that uh, india is suffering from caste system untouchable error right yes yes yeah. so yes. that is the painful torment and uh, from past 2000 and this is what uh, uh, even uh, after mahabharat war uh, uh, which which was uh, taken place in uh, from uh, abu huraira that is syria to indus valley the uh, and it was an internal war among the Pandian colony. So that took place around 5000 BC. After that, around 3000 BC, you know that Aryan settlers came and settled in Iranian plateau. Are you aware of that? Mm -hmm. So that uh, uh, no. see the well, see, uh, yeah. The, 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 what the Aryans? Uh, yeah, I know the Aryan invasion of India. Yes. Yeah, it's not. A, it's actually a migration, not an invasion, because those are barbaric okay. people. They cannot. Uh, they cannot fight. So they migrated and they settled in the Iranian plateau. Uh, uh, then, uh, and uh, the, the, there's a prophecy, you know, that uh, coming of Antichrist. Okay. First Antichrist is Cain. And coming of Antichrist means bloodline of Cain coming and settling among the Pandian colony. And this is what... Uh, Shri Antichrist yeah. is Cain? Yeah. I don't understand that, sorry. I thought Cain is like long before uh, Jesus. Jesus is a, a, a Christ is actually a title. Okay. Every That's anointed ago, yeah? no, Christ is actually a title. What does the Christ okay. means? Al Masih. Uh, Masiya. Masih. Every Masih. prophet is a Masiya. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, I see what you mean. Oh, right. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so right, I, I thought you had the traditional understanding. No, 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 no. I don't have a traditional sorry, sorry, understanding. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Okay. So ahead. every 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 prophet is a anointed one. He's a Masiya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so, so the first anti-spiritual person, anti-spiritual anti person, anti-Christ is, uh, uh, is Cain. And uh, coming of anti-Christ means bloodline of Cain coming and settling around uh, Iranian plateau. So the, around 3000 BC, uh, first batch of uh, Caucasian settlers entered into Iranian plateau and settled there. So we have to see by color now, black and white. Okay. 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 So okay. now the, when the Iranian plateau, they came and settled, our Tamil people, they educated them, gave them a civilization, like how the Moors who ruled Spain for 800 years, they, they mm -hmm. civilized those uh, barbaric European people. You, ha you know the story, mm -hmm. no? After Prophet Muhammad, yes, uh, I do. Yeah, the, so yes, I do. similarly, when those barbaric people came and settled around 3000 around 3, BC, our Tamil people mm -hmm. educated them, gave Sanskrit a written form, taught them how to write, and then they started uh, around 1500, by 1500 BC, they started a Vedic age. That's why you see Vedic age, they have wrote many, many philosophy uh, according to, to their understanding. And that is the foundation of Hinduism. Uh, so, so what, have, what was before that? Asivagam. Asivagam. Asivagam means three in one. Shivagam is three in one. Okay. Yeah, and this three, three? three in one uh, applies to uh, human being. R, R stands for God. Double A. Okay. Double A stands for God or soul. R. C1 or G1 means life, DNA. Oh, the Malays also say Jiva is uh, soul. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, G1 okay. means life, DNA. And uh, Agam means yeah, inside. Yeah. Agam means inside because we human beings are created from Panch Bhutam, the five elements of the earth, and then God's yeah, breath yeah. is inside us. Even the DNA is inside us. So, so everything is within us. So, when you sit in meditation, you can get access to your uh, genetic mm. memories as well as to the God's particle. Right, right, right. So, three, and this three in one concept was taken by these uh, Caucasian settlers, the white people, and they made God as three in one. Mm -hmm. And uh, then they started this Indra Varun Mitra, 
Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Every which with the with the coming of new new umpires, they 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 portrayed this concept. Means anti spiritual policy. So the coming of Antichrist will take the uh, Siratul Mustaqim, and uh, with that uh, philosophy, he will make anti spiritual policy. Understood. Understood. So so this uh, our India is not ruled by arms and ammunition. It is ruled by. Uh, policies which are anti to siratul mustaqim so, so what do you understand siratul mustaqim to mean then siratul mustaqim is a straight part everything is within you you don't need a priestly class because priestly class is unwanted in islam islam is based on khalifa okay. system uh, so in every it's okay. the first first batch uh, when the when the caucasians uh, uh, introduced the new way of life new world order Uh, they introduced the priestly caste, and that's why the uh, when the the first conflict was between Gautam Buddha, the Prince Gautam, who who uh, activated his Kundalini, and then he had a philosophical fight with the Brahmins. Uh, you know the uh, timeline of that time, na? So since then, uh, and then later on, uh, in the name of Gautam Buddha, the, uh, uh, there was a geno genocide done by this uh, Maurya Empire, and then they started a religion called Buddhism. Similarly, when Jesus came, he clearly stated in the Bible that I have come only for the lost sheep of house of Israel, not for Gentiles. And then, then these Gentiles, the Roman Empire, uh, after Jesus Christ, they started Roman Catholic. Okay. I oh, and I understand how you are approaching this. Okay. Yeah. So, so after then, after Prophet Muhammad, because Prophet Muhammad came, he united all the melanated people. Okay, mm. people of the book and children of Israel, not bloodline of Cain. Because Allah stops uh, Prophet Muhammad from wasting time on the people whose forefathers were not born, referring to the bloodline of Cain settled in the Iranian plateau, uh, the Persian and the Roman Empire. So Prophet Muhammad sent letter of invitation to these uh, superpower of that time, and they rejected the invitation. And then uh, when Prophet Muhammad united uh, the native people, and he fought against the Persian Empire, and after uh, defeating the Persians, which chapter nine talks about. They were not allowed to enter into Hejaz region. That's chapter nine twenty eight. That uh, after this, these people are not supposed to enter into yes. uh, 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 Mecca. Yes, yes. And Mukam e Mukam e Ibrahim, which you have written. These are the Mushrikin. The Mushrik who are the Mushrikin? The Mushrikin. Yeah, Mushrikin. Yeah. Because there are, if you read further, the wise and the unwise people. The the unwise people uh, refers to the bloodline of Cain. They are hunter gatherer cannibal society. They have uh, understood the concept, but they will not accept the truth. So the unwise, if if they come and take asylum from you, teach them and uh, keep them separate. Give them a, a separate land. That's what the Quran is talking about. That's why uh, all these uh, Caucasians, the 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 new town was created. That is called Najat, and they was kept there. And there is a hadith which says that the devil from Najat will come. And that uh, devil of from Najat is Saudi. Mm. And then, uh, oh, if you gosh. if you if you read uh, further, that uh, Daniel chapter seven talks about the four beastly regime. Since we the, the Tamil people, the Tamil colony from uh, Anatolia to Tamil Nadu, it was a melanated land, and uh, the Caucasians they came and they took the civilization technology and they genocide the native people over there, one one colony at a time. And the uh, Bible talks about four beastly regime. That is, the first beast is Persian, second beast is Roman, third beast is Ottoman, fourth and final is the Saudi. So these Caucasians uh, will come and they will prolong the uh, Greater Kaliyugam or uh, uh, age of uh, dark age. Dark age. Kaliyug. Yeah. Kaliyug is dark. Dark age. My yeah. grandfather taught me that. Yeah. <laughs> Satyuga. Actually, yeah, yeah. the the world, the earth started with Satyugam. Satyugam age of a bad, bad, uh, good administration. Satyug, Satyug means okay. age of good administration, and Kaliyugam means age of bad administration. And greater Kaliyugam means which Sri Krishna prophesies after Mahabharat war, the internal fight among the Pandyans. Uh, it greater Kaliyugam means a long period of bad administration, and that's what uh, Daniel oh. chapter seven talks about, four beastly regime. And when Prophet Muhammad came, he 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 ended the first two beastly regime empire, the Roman and the Persian. They collapsed during the timeline of Prophet Muhammad. And later on, if you read Quran chapter twenty uh, one verse ninety six ninety seven, it is talking about Gog and Magog. And Gog and Magog is the is the Mongolians, the Chinggis Khan. Mongolians. Oh. Chinggis Khan, the 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 yellow okay. pale skin, uh, short in height. 
and this Changiz Khan uh, when they uh, around 1200 uh, AD when they entered into Samarkand, Bukhara, Iran, Iraq they genocide 80% of the Malay, uh, this uh, Caucasian uh, settlers breaking the backbone of Roman Empire, Persian Empire forever. But if you if you know, Genghis Khan never entered into India, or no, no he invaded uh, uh, Arabia. I, I mean, the Hejaz region. He only genocide the white people only. Why is that? Caucasians, the, these people are uh, beastly regime, and Allah set the balance tha, Because if uh, after if Allah had not brought uh, Genghis Khan, these uh, the Persians and Rome, uh, Romans would have uh, reunified. And they would have uh, attacked India and uh, the Africa, I mean the Africa and uh, Middle East, I mean uh, Arabia. So Allah keeps a balance, na? Wait, I mean, do you, do you not see that this may have, um, in terms of fatalism, you, you know, uh, taqdeer, yeah? taqdeer, fatalism, mm -hmm. this may be a bit problematic because you, what you're saying is an entire race of people are a beastly regime. So Allah created them to be beasts? No, 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 no. See, Allah, see, Allah doesn't, uh, doesn't. Uh, see, if, if you read Quran chapter seven, verse one seventy-two to one seventy-four, Allah has taken uh, from the loins of from children of Adam, from every children of Adam, and testif made them testified. So if you read that verse, chapter seven, verse one seventy-two, Allah has uh, Allah has give, uh, taken testimony. So Allah doesn't interfere in, in your personal decision. Uh, if, yeah. you are, if your people are forever condemned to be beastly people, as you put it, then the chances of you getting guidance is not... See, actually, if you compare two, two, uh, two civilizations, first, Cain is there. He committed the first murder. And he was cursed and banished from the cradle of civilization. That curse is inherited is in, in his uh, DNA. So his children are facing the his children are facing the consequence uh, of his uh, karma, okay? okay. But that Allah did not uh, choose na. It was his own decision. He committed the first murder. He had a sub selfish agenda, so he committed the first murder, and then he was cursed and banished from the cradle of civilization. And then uh, you can divide the bloodline of Cain into two groups. One, that's what Quran chapter five verse eighty two talks about. That among the the the, the Caucasian settlers. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I interrupted you. Yeah, no, see, the, I came to my mind. Yahud and Nasara. Yes, the Yahud and Nasara. Yeah, Yahud and Nasara. These people are these are people are got nothing to do with Torah and Gospel because Torah and Gospel is okay. a, is a book for children of Israel, not for uh, Yahud and Nasara. Okay. Yahud and Nasara are the Persian and the Byzantine Empire. Mm. And these people, they are stiff-necked people. Stiff-necked people. Yeah. And uh, and uh, the the sec the, the verse continues that among the among the Christian uh, people there are monks who will be humble. They yeah. will, you will not find them arrogant. That's, that's uh, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. So if you see Europeans, they accept the truth that they were hunter gatherer cannibal people and they became they came into the civilization world just recently. That is the statement of the European people. Okay. But when you talk to this Muslim world, the Caucasian settlers, the uh, Iranian, the uh, Iraqis, the Turkey, the Saudi, real Arabs are black. Huh? Don't uh, mix, mix, don't take the, these uh, uh, Saudi as a. Uh, okay. Yeah, I've heard this theory before. I yeah. Theory so Saudi, all these people, they are having a superiority complex. They say we know Arabic, we know better Quran. They have a stiff neck people, and that's the reason why when uh, Prophet Muhammad sent letter of invitation to the Roman Empire, Persian Empire, they they rejected the invitation. So that's what Yasin says, na. Warn them or do not warn them. They will not. If you read that whole verse, the, their forefathers were not warned. Meaning, the, the, the Adam is a prophet. His every every his children, all the children of Adam, they are they are having the prophet. The only person who don't have a prophet in his community is Cain and his bloodline. Okay, so. So and since Prophet Muhammad is a universal messenger, so he is also a prophet for those people. So, so when uh, Prophet Muhammad, yeah, so Prophet Muhammad sent letter of invitation to these uh, Caucasian settlers, the Roman and the Persian, but they both rejected it. 
because they are stiff neck people L later on and then quran chapter 5 verse 80, 82 says that the closest to the believers believers means uh, the people who have the books uh, they they will be closest to the believers but uh, the muslim world and the brahmins they will be the staunch enemy of the believers means sirat al mustaqim those people who have the sirat al mustaqim got it I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. Okay. So, and that's why Quran makes uh, the article of faith to to have uh, the correct concept of history. All books, all messengers. If you don't have a, a correct concept of history, Adam, Noah, family of Imran, family of Ibrahim, then uh, Allah says that, uh, and the, the, there are five articles of faith, and uh, the disbelievers will talk only about God and the last day. They will not talk about the history part. And Quran 60% is just history. Correcting the history, it gives us a sign so that the previous history, because the, the Quran is talking about people of the book. So when you call, when, you, when Quran says people of the book, it refers to the people of first Siddha, that is Tamilians. And uh, it, it includes Torah and Gospel. And when Quran says children of Israel, it only refers to uh, people of family of, uh, family of uh, Jacob, Israel. Okay. okay. Well, that's the traditional view, anyway. Yeah, and and even if you look look at uh, chapter two, verse one uh, forty, because most of the uh, Dawa organization uh, they say Jews and Christian, and they associate it with the uh, children of Israel, right? People of the book. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, anyway, yeah, go on. Yeah. So, uh, Quran chapter two, verse one forty clearly states that uh, these uh, Ibrahim, Ismail, Isaac, Yaqub, and his. Uh, descendants they are not jews and christian so so if zakir naik people like zakir naik if they say similarity between islam and christianity similarity between islam and judaism similarity between islam and hinduism for that he has to remove islam, uh, jesus from islam and put it, it into christianity he has to go against this quran to make jesus a part of christianity he has to go against uh, uh, torah to make uh, Musa as a as a founder of Judaism, then only similarity can take place. Because all prophets are are have come to remind; they are messengers. They are just reminding what was given to first Siddha. And whatever there is a abrogation or a, de a deletion of certain rules and regulation, that the, that is the work of prophet. But the the foundation of Islam was laid right from the beginning. All prophets are coming to remind about it. They have not brought any new religion. So where is the question that Judaism, Christianity, Buddhism, and all these religions came into existence? Yeah, so where do we get the original religion from then? Original religion is there inside. See, the Quran is there. It is giving you everything. But uh, we are not seeing it. Nah. Like for example, the chapter 15 verse 80, 87 is talking about seven Kundalini. Have you seen that verse? Yeah, Allah has given two things to Prophet Muhammad. One is seven of repeated. And uh, yeah, the yeah. Quran, the book of wisdom. What is seven of repeated? I mean, the tradition is say Fatiha. I don't believe that. Uh, yeah, I that's the seven Kundalini. It's Kundalini, okay. Yeah, the, that's what Prophet Muhammad was sitting. I don't know, you know, I do. it doesn't seem to fit the context, you know. See, Quran is a reminder. It is not Quran is not coming for the first time. It is a it's a reminder. It's reminding what what already people are having the information. And for the for the bloodline of Cain, if you try to understand from the angle of bloodline of Cain, will you ever be able to understand it? See, Prophet Muhammad used to sit in a cave. Okay, sitting in cave is a tradition of all the Siddhas in Tamil Nadu. People used to go to cave and they used to do meditation. That's a tradition, no? Uh, yeah, I, look, I, I don't have a, a problem with, with that. You see, the, the thing which I'm trying to point out to you is that as a, as a Quranist, I take the Quran as essential information. So you say, okay, Prophet Muhammad meditated in a cave. That doesn't go against the Quran. It doesn't. It's fine. Yeah. But do I need to go to a cave to uh, receive the same experience? No, I don't need to. I, need, I, can, I can do it maybe in a jungle or in a forest so i don't live near a cave you see yeah, so even if you sit I'm at home see, even if you sit at home and do meditation 
you can get connected with your sure. ancestors. Wonderful. Yes, that's 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 it. That's it. That's, that's what Quran is telling us. Go inside yourself. The biggest jihad is going inside yourself. Okay. Well, that's that's not the Quran. That's that's a hadith actually. No, Quran but is anyway, there. That's fine. That's no, fine. no hadith. Not that's not hadith. Quran is there. You can read there. Conscious of God. How to be conscious of God? Chapter two, verse two. Chapter 2 verse 2 is uh, Yeah, how to become a muttaqin person? Conscious, yeah, God conscious. God conscious of God, bro. Yeah, how to become okay. a God conscious? Through meditation. And even even if you read Quran chapter 24 verse 35, light upon light. Superb. What I is love, that? I love that I am. I what is that? It is a it is it is a stage when the God's particle, the uh, the soul, get touch get connected with the supreme light. That is a stage of enlightenment. And it's talking about the pineal gland. It's talking about the crystal, the lingam, the, the crystal, the oval shape is which is which is, which is there between in between the right and the left hemisphere of the brain, and uh, mm -hmm. so it's a direction. And then the how the liquid fluid, uh, uh, liquid uh, cerebral fluid, uh, which uh, goes from the spinal cord right up to the crown chakra, the, the liquid okay. is flowing. And then the the, the if you uh, if the when the when there's awakening. You get connected with the higher conscious. That is a light upon light, and Allah guides to whom He wills. That's that, that's awesome. what. Uh, awesome, awesome. So, so why everything that is, is connected with spirituality, huh? Yeah, no. Allah nur sama wa tuwal ard. Yeah. Wow, that is a good interpretation. Thank you, thank you for that. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so when everything is connected with spirituality, and when you deny the spirituality, and spirituality began from India. I mean, I'm not denying spirituality. I just differentiate between essential information. See, actually, and... uh, right now, what is exactly has happened? See, uh, we are looking from the angle of Jew, Christian, and Muslim. Okay. And uh, and when you read Quran Surah Fatiha, guide us to the straight part, the part who, which you have blessed. The blessed one is Shiva or Set. Uh, 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 the people under rot are the bloodline of Cain facing the ancestral karma. The third line is talking about the astray people. Well, dolly. Okay. Yeah, the astray people. Who are those astray people? Okay. Now, now uh, Adam, Noah, family of Ibrahim. Now coming to the, we are now in the timeline of Ibrahim. Okay. Ibrahim, uh, since the Pandians were in the in the stage of greater Kaliyugam, bad administration. And they they were they were uh, from past uh, four thousand years. Uh, the trade war is going on because everything because we uh, Tamil people we know how to live uh, we 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 know how to keep a balance between spiritual and material world. So when these uh, antichrist anti uh, uh, in the bloodline of Cain, they came in power. For them, materialism is everything. Consumerism is everything. Okay. So so now the the seafaring people. There are two types of uh, sea, ancient seafaring people were the Tamil people and the new seafaring people were the uh, Moors from the family of Ibrahim. Okay. 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 Now, chapter okay. 2, verse 124. As we, the Pandians, were the, in, the, in, the, in the phase of greater Kali Yuga, so God appointed, tested Ibrahim and appointed him. And then uh, Ibrahim is asking God, what about my offspring? Allah is telling, I am uh, this uh, covenant doesn't apply to your wrong doers among you. And you think this uh, the these are the yeah same. these are the astray people because if you read the Quran okay. yeah the, okay. the from Jacob the starting point of history of twelve sons of Jacob what is their history ten brothers conspiring to kill one of their brothers mm. okay this is a starting point. And uh, they almost okay, killed that's him. That's in the Quran. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. That's All, definitely in the Quran. Yeah, so that's uh, the starting point of their history. And then Yusuf went to Egypt. That's their history. And then Musa brought everyone back to their land. Uh, so this was the history. And But later on, when you look into the Quranic view, the children of Israel, they killed their messengers, distorted their book, made their people captive. They only sold their own people. There's mentioned in the Quran, no? It is mentioned in the Quran, yeah. Yeah, so who are those people? I can't think where, but I don't know. But I think, as I said, I think the Quran made it a general rule. No, no, no. See, don't take it to Quran general. When Quran is talking about people of the book and children of Israel, it's referring to them only. It's not referring to the bloodline of Cain. Because when you say, make it general, 
it, it, it doesn't apply to Chinese people, it doesn't apply to the hermetic people, it doesn't apply to the family, it only applies to the uh, certain bloodline, uh, Adam, yeah, Noah, family really of... Sorry, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. You see, the thing is, I, I view the Quran in a different way, you know, a universal way. To me, Bani Israel, uh, the word Bani, sons of children of mine, but Israel refers to people walking in the path of Allah. So anyone walking in the path of Allah would be Israel. It's not... A, G, a DNA based thing. It's a I'm DNA right, based. Uh, chapter 3, verse 33, 34. Uh, 34 says about what? Bloodline of each other. Chapter, cha chapter 3, verse 33, chapter, 34. Sorry, sorry, wait. Chap chapter 3? Uh -huh, the, yeah, yeah. 33, 34. What does yeah, 34 say? The word Zuriyatun. Yeah, the word Zuriya. I don't believe Zuriya there is bloodline. Yeah, it's I a bloodline. Zuriya there is elements. Because it comes from the word, Arabic word, zarra, meaning elements. Elements. So, so I don't think it's blood. It's bloodline, actually. I mean, uh, see, when know, Quran says Hebrew family of Abraham, see, go, go, go previously, like go previously, Adam, Noah, yeah. family of Abraham, family of Imran. So when do you say family of Abraham, what does it mean? Descendant uh, okay, of Abraham, okay. na? This, uh, okay, let, let, me, uh, let me show you an ayah, please. You see, if you look at uh, chapter 22, uh, Al Hajj, the last verse, Allah talks to the believers. And He says, Millata Abi Ukum Ibrahim, the religion of your father Ibrahim. Yeah. The father here is not a genetic father, he is our spiritual father. See, actually, uh, Quran is addressed to family because Prophet Muhammad's whole mission was for the bloodline of Ismail and bloodline of uh, Jacob. And they were around the uh, area. Oh, I can't accept. Yeah, yeah. I'm really sorry. That's that's not how I read it, bro. I'm sorry. I but actually, you see, you, you give me a point. Where did Prophet Muhammad entertain the white people? If you are making everything general, if you are making everything general, where did, did Persian Empire respond to Prophet Muhammad? Well, that's the thing. I don't know because I don't believe in the, the history of of the Arabian Empire. The reason is because the history was made about 150 years. No, I'm not talking about history after Prophet Muhammad. I'm talking about before, prior to Prophet, during the time of Prophet Muhammad, when Prophet Muhammad sent letter of invitation and Quran chapter 9 is talking about a, test, a treaty, Hudaybiyah, treaty between uh, those people and there was a fight. No, I, yeah. I'm very sorry, I don't think it talks about that because there's no Hudaybiyah mentioned there. So, uh, it talks about the establishment of God system. Yeah, but uh, system what is the God system? Yeah, this is actually what you no, have wrote just now. Muka Ibrahim, Mukame Ibrahim. Mukame Ibrahim is actually, a, like I have told you, it's a Kuladevam. It's an ancestral get-together for family of Ibrahim. Like in India, when uh, when uh, every ca caste, every profession, they have their own Kuladevam and sacrifice of the animal and Quran is also talking that every community every kul every uh, people I have given uh, this uh, prescribe them to sacrifice of the animal so okay well okay l l okay let me let me tell you my, my point of view please uh, with regards to Maqami Ibrahim right because we were trying to discuss Maqami Ibrahim so if you look at chapter 2 verse 2 1 2 4 and 1 2 5 uh, of the Quran it talks about what Maqami Ibrahim is. You see, the Quran says, uh, Ibrahim uh, And when your Lord tested Ibrahim with words, He completed the words. He said, I will make you an Imam for the mankind. You see? So yeah. then Ibrahim said, well, well, my, my, uh, Descendant, yeah. and Allah says, you know, the, the covenant will not reach the wrongdoers. And then you have Maqam Ibrahim. What yeah, but that's what, I, well, that's what I was yeah. talking. Chapter 2, verse 124. So, what, what, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Let so, but the I, descendant, here he's talking about the, the descendant, bloodline. And among his, okay. from, from family of Ibrahim, his uh, two wives, Sarah and Hagar, that is not mentioned in Quran, but Ismail, Isaac was there. From And that's yeah, what Quran yeah, chapter yeah. 2, verse 140 is talking about, na? Yeah, no, you see, this, this is the thing, you know. So if you, you make the, all these verses as general, if you are making every everything as a general. I, I am, yeah. And yeah, I, so I, that I, will help only whom? Quran should be read. No, that will, that will help whom? The, the Jewish syndicate. Well, 
the people who no, have started uh, religion like uh, Judaism, sorry, Christianity, and Islam. Okay, I'm sorry, this is a bit too racist for me, you know. It's Quran is a book. Sorry, Quran, does, Quran is basically not meant for uh, bloodline of Cain. I'm sorry, boy. I can't. I can't accept that. I'm sorry. Because the Quran always says, "Yeah, you are nas." Yeah, yeah. That's nas is there, and signed. See, that's why. See, Prophet Muhammad. If you see, read the Yasin. Yasin. Yasin is saying that's a turning point. That's a that's a connection between Prophet Muhammad and because if you go in back in history, Jesus mission is limited to lordship of house of Israel, not for Gentiles. And when uh, certain people, uh, Gentiles, came to Prophet uh, uh, Jesus Isa, they asked him to teach them the word of God. He clearly states that when the Comforter comes, he is going to teach you. My mission is totally limited to lordship of house of Israel, not for Gentiles. This is mentioned in the Bible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when Prophet Muhammad Quran, came, you know, who is I, the Comforter? I, I can't. Yeah, who is the Comforter? Uh, the Comforter is Prophet uh, Muhammad. Uh, yes, yes, yes. But you see, the thing is, I, you know, this contradicts the, the, the Quran. You know, if you look at chapter 41, verse 43, Allah says, Ma yuqadu laka, nothing was said to you, illa man qad fila li rasul bin kablik, except that was said to the messengers before you. So, if Prophet Muhammad was sent unto mankind, then Jesus could not have limited his mission to the lost sheep of Israel. This is not Quranic. See, actually, uh, all prophets, uh, see, all prophets have different, different roles. And uh, the difference between uh, previous prophets. See, if you say Noah as a as a mankind, if you say, take the same logic uh, apply to Noah, then Noah flood becomes a uh, global. Uh, no, 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 no. It, what what it is? Noah, no, no, no flood was in his area. Yeah, no, that's what I that's what I'm telling. It it has got it has got nothing to do with bloodline of Cain. Though yeah, Cain bloodline yeah, was there I, during the timeline of uh, Noah. Okay, uh, no, it's fine. The time of Noah is fine. The area of Noah is also okay with me. The thing is, the lesson is universal, bro. Yeah, this but uh, but uh, see, bloodline of when when the Cain is a is a generation of incest, and all prophets are from noble birth. So you understand oh, the, the, the genealogy. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I you know this is. It's very alien to me. I'm very interested in how you got, how you understood your position. See, the, see if you go but chapter 5 verse 27, if you understand why, why the first murder took place, what was the reason for murder, then you will understand. That's why Quran gives us signs to go inside the Quran and go into the previous book. Even if you want, you can go to Tafsir also with, uh, and get the information. And if, uh, if you, see... How much you do your research? It is Allah who is going to give you guidance, not uh, any of us. So you you don't limit yourself because Quran is uh, is 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 connecting before Adam before Adam also. There are information in the Quran which talks about uh, uh, Lucifer, which talks about angels. So that information you will where you will going to find it. Lucifer, I, I have all the information I want in the Quran itself. No, Quran Lucifer itself can is. see. Quran itself is a new, new version. That's the reason why. Because if you say Quran itself, then you are, what you are doing is, uh, you are going. Uh, you the the concept of iman. First of all, the purpose of our existence is to is to protect our the five article of faith. That is, believe in Allah, believe in the uh, angels, believe in all messengers, all books. So when you limit yourself to Quran, Quran doesn't talk about Cain, Quran doesn't talk about uh, Set, Quran doesn't talk about many prophets, Quran doesn't talk yeah, about, it, it yeah. only talks about 24. A, so you are limiting yourself yeah. to 25. 25. Yeah, 25, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. and Quran doesn't talk about uh, Bhagavad Gita, uh, Vedas, Sastras and all those books which was there in India. Quran is only talking about Torah and Gospel. But it says that uh, we have given previous people uh, certain books, scriptures. So, so when Quran is not yeah. giving any any particular names, so so based on this, you will make it as a uh, as a as a dumb book. Quran is not a dumb book. It is a it's a guidance. It's a it's a book sorry, of guidance. I, it really, it's to me, it's far from being a dumb book, bro. It's 
It's a very profound book full of basira. Insight. Yes, yes, but for that it also, can... see, that's also Allah says, na, Allah guides whom He wills. So even if you are reading Quran yes. and you you think you based on your understanding of Quran, you will get the guidance. It's not possible because like like how the Prophet Muhammad was given uh, talking to a blind man and he, he was thinking that uh, this blind man will not understand the truth. So Allah stops him because your message is to convey the message because everything is inside us. There is nothing new which we are going to be. It's a reminder and people who do, whose forefathers were not born, they don't have any information. See, if you talk to a Tamil person, you see, see what I'm talking, your, you, your grandfather, since you, you being a Tamil, uh, yeah. he, he spoke certain thing to you and you you are remembering okay but yes, if if, if the same information i speak to bloodline of cain he will not react he will not say anything so there is a, then how how will you make it a, it a general book yeah but my grandfather's wisdom is not universal right <laughs> my grandfather's wisdom is particular to our people yeah but that that's what I, quran I, I, see I, prophet I, muhammad I, I is not to be honest with you i'm I must be honest with you. I'm not fully Tamil. Yeah, my, my my we have mixed with uh, Malay blood, so I'm I'm a, I'm a mix between Malay and Tamil. Yeah, so my so, grandfather is the the Tamil speaker in the family. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, but anyway, we see even I am also a mixed race. My grandfather is also a black man, and my grandma is a Iranian. But uh, oh, well, so 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 based on my genetical memories, uh, whatever truth is there. Because I contain the both both the DNA, so I know I have uh, genetical memories of uh, Iranian as well as Tamil. So now now uh, since most of the mixed race mixed race people yeah. they get confused yeah. because uh, and that's why Quran uh, or uh, previous uh, Tamil uh, people the inter caste marriage is not allowed. But after after uh, Prophet Muhammad inter caste marriage is allowed. But uh, Quran warns Quran warns because. Gen genetical memories is there. If if a particular trade person is marrying some other trade person, then the there can be a conflict uh, among the uh, DNA coding. Understood. Uh, I I don't know about that. I mean, yeah. you have to speak to someone who knows about genetics. Yeah. So chapter two. If, 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 if you read chapter two, verse two twenty one, Allah is clearly uh, uh, stating that now. Uh, that's uh, Muslim, and That's that's. That's not about bloodline. Yeah, the slaves. slaves. Actually, marry the slaves among you. Marry the slave, but don't marry, marry the mustaqeen. Even they, they, even they attracts you. But who are you saying that all uh, Cain people are mushrikeen? That's no Cain, or not all. See, the, see, the, it's talking about the bloodline. See what when you get married, and your DNA gets spoiled because there are two certain the blessed DNA and the cursed DNA. So if if the blessed and the DNA and the cursed DNA mix, then the children will born in a new species. Yeah, but you see that that shows that Allah has given fatalism towards a certain people. He has, did not make all people equal. Yes, 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 yes. So that's that's a bit difficult for me to accept. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a. I have to stick to the Quran, bro. I'm really sorry about the that. The Quran is but talking about, now. see, chapter 1 is talking about blessed one, cursed one, astray one. We, he has categorized it, uh, three types of people. Yeah, well, anger, the one who has anger upon Yeah, him. who yeah. are those people? Who Mahdubi Allah. Yeah, Mahdubi Allah is anger upon him. Yeah, the blessed yeah. one, the, the angered one, and the astray people. Yes. So, three types of people yes. are there. So, how can but they all be uh, equal? Allah will judge based on their, because Allah never disguised, misguided them. They themselves took the part because of their selfish greed. Yeah. Chapter 2, there is a yeah, verse in Quran, no? selfish contumacy. Yeah, but you see, this is not something fated. You, you know what I mean by fated, right? It's like, you are not born to be either blessed, cursed, or blessed, cursed, blessed, angered. No, or DNA strange. can be altered. No? See, DNA can be altered. DNA can but be I altered mean, provided you yeah, become I mean, humble. DNA, I think, is to do with behavior, you know? No, no. Just, see, whatever you do, do see, whatever you do, whatever you do is coded in on your DNA. And like, mm. yeah, like whatever genetical memories is coming, is from your ancestors. Okay, but to say a whole race has... No, I'm not talking about the whole race. Where, where, the, where did Quran say it's talking about? Quran chapter 5 verse 20, 82 is clearly stating na, that there are two types of people. One, humble, and other is stiff neck. So the the humble person will be closest yeah, to the believers. 
the <laughs> humble person see the criteria the criteria either you become stiff neck and most of the muslim yeah. world yeah. muslim world are, are stiff neck people whereas the european people they accept that they are hunter gatherer can a iranian people will say that he's he's from the bloodline of cain and he was a hunter gatherer will a brahmins a brahmin in india see yeah. in the brahmin in india he is living in a superiority complex but when you look into the genealogy he's from iran a persian and his bloodline reaches the cain so so there are two types of cain uh, group one european people they accept they were hunter gatherer and they became civilized recently this is what their statement is so they allah has given them uh, uh, equality they are they are living in a single currency they are living in peace okay. but whereas the muslim world and the uh, this part of the world we are having different 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 currency are we setting the mizan are we living currency. in the balance Cur- currency what uh, i'm not sure what currency has to do with this see when when you say equality how will you bring equality okay when there how is a- will you bring equality I'm, i'm not saying speaking about bringing equality i'm saying that all human beings have the potential to be Uh, either blessed or angered or astray. Right? Yeah, 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 the, yeah. The, see, Now, this, that's this depends on our ibadah. Why do I say ibadah? Because ayat chapter one verse four, iya ka na budu wa iya ka na stain. You see, it's nothing to do with our ancestry. It's to do with our behavior and our connection with Allah. So, yeah. yeah, that's. I'm. Like, I'm sorry, bro. It's, uh, <laughs> see, I, really, I, I, listen. I. I really enjoy your research, but I can't. I mean, this is just. No, uh, see, that's. Uh, that's. Not, I'm not telling you to accept everything what I'm talking about, but uh, ponder no, on no, the no, Quran. No, Quran no. Ponder but on the Quran. Thank you for sharing yeah. with me, though. Yeah. P- ponder. Yeah, I'm yeah. sharing it. Ponder on the Quran so that uh, because you came. You came in my room and you showed interest to learn about it. Yes, I'm, yeah, I'm very yeah, interested. Yeah. I, I, yeah. You see, I'm. I'm an academic. Yeah. So I like to learn about people and their views and and so on. You see. Yeah. That's why. But I mean, personally, I'm I'm a Quranist. Personally, oh, it's I'm okay. A it's it's okay to be a Quranist. I'm also a Quranist. Uh, everyone has to be a Quranist so that at least uh, right. he he right. understand what is inside the Quran and then and then uh, based on Quranic guideline, he has to go outside the uh, Quran to see the world. And I must say, your knowledge of the Quran, mashallah, I am very very impressed with your knowledge of the Quran, bro. I'm really very impressed. You know all. You know all the relevant ayat. You know. So that's awesome. You must have really read the Quran as opposed to. See, I was. Uh, I had worked with. Uh, yeah, I have worked with uh, Zakir Naik also. You worked with Zakir Naik? Oh wow! He's yeah. In my country now, Malaysia. Yeah, and uh, I have worked with him, and twenty uh, eight, I think, uh, yeah, twenty one years back, I have worked with him. I worked uh, because I was doing research on Hinduism, and uh, mm-hmm. and I was I was doing a field work with uh, the Tamil people in Bombay, and. Uh, okay. And then, uh, see, Zakir Naik is a carbon copy of Ahmed Idad. That time, to twenty uh, years. Yeah. Very yeah. true. <laughs> yeah. So he has nothing to do. He has no knowledge about Hinduism. So carbon copy. <laughs> Very true. So he 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 and I had a chance to work with him because he wanted uh, some information about Hinduism. And uh, okay. so I told him that Hinduism is not a religion. It's a conspiracy to rule the black people of India. And uh, if you want to, if you want to talk like this, uh, yeah. May I read this theory? May May I read about this in some book, or maybe you wrote some stuff that Hinduism is a conspiracy to rule the people of India. Yes, that's a conspiracy. It's a it's an anti spiritual policy. It's a manu law, man made oh. law, uh, which uh, okay. which is going against the Sirat al Mustaqim. So and oh, okay. uh, and since Zakir and I, I worked for him for eight months, and then. Uh, And that time, uh, there was a RSS burned a pastor in uh, Orissa. Remember? Mm. Mm. Oh, I've heard of this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That yes. time I was working with him, and then uh, there was a incident where a Tamil um, uh, 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 BJP chief uh, uh, in Trombe, his son got converted to Islam, and there was a big uh, conflict going in uh, uh, Trombe Chita camp. And uh, those uh, boys who converted the uh, Nedu Maran people, uh, BJP people. to islam they were afraid they called zakir naik stating come and uh, solve the matter and he clearly stated that uh, i'm not interested in uh, coming in this matter then uh, i said uh, this guy is what is he he's, he's a dai he should have gone 
Uh, Dai means just uh, taking a katora and going to Saudi and taking money. But sometimes you have to face yeah. the bullet also, na? <laughs> so then I, uh, I, uh, I, I went there, uh, Trombe. I sat with the, in the, co- in the temple, I sat with the Nidu Maran, a Tamil guy. And I spoke about uh, what is inside the Quran and how, how Quran is connected with Tamil. And the matter was solved. Yeah, matter was solved, and uh, then uh, then after that, I felt like this guy is a, is a, is nothing but a liar, a hypocrite, working for uh, Saudi to, to make money. I then I left him. Oh, you don't know how much trouble he caused in Malaysia, bro. Huh? Seriously, a lot of trouble. Zakir Nai caused a lot of trouble in Malaysia. He's a fugitive. Uh, See, he's, he's a fugitive. He's a fitna. He, if, he, if, he, if, he, if he goes to any country, he will destroy that country. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Because he's a, he, he's a he's an antichrist. See, he, this guy is working for antichrist and his only mission is to create new market for Hajj. Yeah, he will so destroy. Because Quran says, nah, uh, don't destroy the culture of the people. Every people having different, different culture. So if you... Yeah. If you try to yeah, okay. say that your culture is bad, my culture is good, that is not Islam. Mm. But mm. since... Oh, uh, absolutely. So You're he's right. going against the Quran and uh, that's why when he, whenever he says similarity between Islam and Christianity, he's going against the Quran. The whole statement goes against the Quran. There is no similarity because there is no such thing as Christianity because Jesus never started Christianity. Mm. Mm. Okay, so there are lots of uh, loopholes. And he is uh, working for uh, Devil of Najah, that is Saudi. And Saudi is funding them so that uh, he can create new market for uh, for more people to go to Hajj. So that Saudi can make more money. So whatever damages he, has, he was supposed to do in India, he has done. He has laid many eggs. And now uh, there are thousands of uh, Dawa organization in India. And now the same thing, uh, because if he goes to Malaysia, and from Malaysia he can get, get, get access to Japan. And China. This is that that that. This is where they want to get it get into the China, the Japan and the China Chinese market. Understood. Why? Oh, because of the numbers, yeah. Yeah, because they've uh, Japan if uh, uh, Japan if people convert, then uh, the, then uh, they will go back to Hajj for market for making money. For me, Saudi will benefit, na. And China, China, if China becomes a, a religious organization, because China as a whole is a one community, one community yeah, because there was no invasion there. Religion, you know? Yeah, one one people yeah, only. No, no, don't see by religion. There is only one community. They are all one race, okay. one race people, and there was no invasion like in India. Uh, Aryans are coming, Mongolians are coming, other peoples are coming, and the natives are suffering. Okay, that thing is not happen in China. So, so now, because of Zakir Naik, is like he's heading the army to invade uh, China, Japan, and Malaysia. So when the army comes, okay. he's going to destroy the native uh, way of life. So that's what he's, uh, he's doing in Malaysia. He's a fitna. He did it. He did it. He did it in Malaysia. Uh, his, uh, his people are evil, man. And uh, he will make so people terrorists. Bad. Actually, he will make people terrorists. He will create any, 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 he will create crime. He will uh, destroy the peace of the land because he's a fitna. Mm. And, uh, oh boy. and yeah. it was uh, purposely, yeah. it was purposely uh, dramatized to, uh, because if, uh, if government of India wants, he can, uh, they can catch Zakir Naik anytime. But, but uh, because as a, as, a, as a part of syndicate, they created a drama that he has to run from here to Saudi and then Saudi also rejected him and then they, they created some drama. So then Malaysian government uh, uh, pitied on him and they brought him to Malaysia. This is what uh, the yes. whole conspiracy yes. is. Yes. So... This is uh, this is this way. Uh, the whole uh, Chinese people, Japanese people, Malaysian people have have sympathy for Zakir Naik. Uh, well, uh, not all, of, uh, not all of us. I mean, lots of us actually reject him and say that he should go back to India to face uh, Modi's uh, charges. So, so forget about Modi charges, uh, but at least uh, uh, the Quran is he's going against the Quran. He should be he should be uh, for he's doing blasphemy. He should be killed. No, but, he, but if, if, if he's, he's blaspheming, he's going against the Quran, na? Or, 
See when no, see Quran right. chapter two verse one forty when Allah is saying that uh, the Jews and Christian the, those twelve tribe of house of Israel are not Jews and Christian and this guy is coming and saying similarity he's going against the Quran, no? Yeah, he is. But we have to you know Allah says to argue with them. So argue, the argue, best. no? Because see, if he, he will not come in front of camera, he will go. He will have a discussion personal. But if he he will never come in camera because see. I I invited him. I called him. He never comes. He no any of his uh, member uh, tra tra trained uh, t uh, students ever comes and yes, to sit yes, in front of yes, me. Yes, yes, yes. My my friends in Malaysia also did that. And yeah, you are right. He never comes. He never comes. He, he never comes. comes. You see, he see, these people are liars. Actually, they are enemy of Quran. And uh, they will never come in front of camera to speak. He, individually, you go and you discuss. He will talk uh, many things which is, which is not recorded. But uh, in front of camera, they will say that they are the only true people on the earth, and uh, that uh, that whatever they are talking is the ultimate truth. And his logic mm. is above Quran. Mm. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is the thing. This is what he's doing in in Malaysia. You know, he wants to uh, convert everybody to Islam. Um, and I think that that's not going to work. Uh, so that, you know. No, people should wake up because uh, he, they, he should be kicked out very soon. Otherwise, he's going to destroy Malaysia and uh, and very soon it will become like uh, uh, like Africa. Like how the African tribal people, uh, some became Christian and some became uh, Muslim and they, they are fighting among each other, killing each other. Same thing will happen in Malaysia also. Yes, and it is happening because the Malaysian government is not interested in stopping him, you know. So uh, it's very sad. It's very sad, Hajar. But listen, I, I'm sorry. I have to go and get get ready you now. Yes, yes, yes. I uh, have to close the room. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thank yeah, you so much. Uh, and I'm sorry I couldn't agree with you. It's no, no, it's okay. Uh, so so nothing to be sorry, uh, Farooq, Farooq, Farooq. Remember one thing: there is nothing to yes. be sorry because whatever I have said is the information is already inside you. So. Okay. So you have to ponder on your your because ultimately we all have to die and we have to get back to Sadat al Mustaqim and how to get back? Mm. Quran is the only book uh, which can lead us to the Sadat al Mustaqim. The interpretation of Quran may be differ from your your end and my end, but ultimately yes. uh, the purpose of life is to get back to Sadat al Mustaqim. So we should yes. be open uh, open yeah. ourselves and we should uh, get back to the Sadat al Mustaqim. So ultimately everyone can live in peace and harmony. That's what we want. That's yeah. what we want, you know. And exchange ideas like this is great. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what you told me about Ayatul Nur, yeah? Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. That was brilliant. That was really brilliant. And today I'm going to read it again. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, thank you for very much for that idea. I will see you, uh, inshallah, soon. Yes, thank you. Yes, welcome. Yeah. Thank you.